Hello everyone, welcome to TV for Neja. My name is Prince. Subscribe to my channel, like my video, thumb up, share on to rule. Is a statement familiar to every Nigerian. And it is just interpretation of the pronouncement of Saamodu Bello in October 12, 1960 in which he stated that the country called Nigeria should be an estate to their great-grandfather, Smanda Fudio, and that on no occasion should the power equation be changed. But as God will have it, the country called Nigeria is no more existing. The legal instrument that back the creation of the country called Nigeria expire in the year 2013 listening to the lawyer representing indigenous people Nigeria, Nigeria like, uh, like like Nigeria has come to an end that's the way to put it uh, very simply on three counts the first being that the background instrument that put us together in the first place which is the amalgamation uh, I was surprised to hear some of my senior colleagues uh, professors uh, Issei Sage and uh, Oyebodi uh, you know, trying to argue that what happened in 1914 was not a treaty. We should all remember, no, what happens in law is uh, you take a whole package together to come to a conclusion on the matter. The British didn't uh, get the territory overnight. The, 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 the Treaty of Lagos was in, 19, in 1861. That's quite And then in bits and pieces, they conquered and, you know, they, they got treaties all around. They now started consolidating and merging them you know, as far as it was in 1906 that they could put all of what they got there, oil rivers here, Lagos there, and they put it together as Southern Protectorate. And then it was in 1914 that they completed the processes because something thought they, there was something amalgamation happened overnight. It was a whole series of processes. They had to merge the legal system, the tax system, and all of it. In 1914, they consolidated all of those uh, things into one sheet to become, you know, what we now call the amalgamation. Is, if you go to read the proclamation, if you if we, we have the documents, all of the documents that led to that point and even beyond, and uh, in the coming days, we, it's going to be before the courts because we don't we we're just going to take it to you know take it up as formally as it could be taken up. But that is on one layer. The British left in 1960 ostensibly. But we know they didn't leave because all they did was appoint agents to hold their interests. The ones who now say they are going to rule the rest of us. Because uh, for, for Amadou Bello to declare to his uh, lieutenants in 1960 that the new nation called Nigeria should be an estate of their great-grandfather, Othman Danfodio, and that on no account should power the equation be allowed to change, and that the middle belt will be used as willing tools, that's minorities of the middle belt, and the South as a conquered ter territory. It was reported in Parrot newspaper of uh, uh, 12 October 1960. So what he was celebrating was the bequest of Southern Nigeria to Northern Nigeria. And uh, we're still in that internal colonial. Uh -huh. Under international, under international, I don't know where, I don't know who taught uh, some of our people the, the kind of jurisprudence they are preaching. They are, like the other day, Professor Ben Mwabeze was busy boasting on how our, uh, our sovereignty now vests in government. He was busy boasting how he is drafting one constitution for a federation, whereas a federation is a union of constitutions. Go to even the ordinary the list of dictionaries. Go and see the meaning of a federation. A federation is simply a union of constitutions. And Nigeria was a federation up to 1966 when the five constitutions that defined the union got toppled and you know, went into one unitary constitution. And now that we are going to repair what went wrong, is it not, does it not follow that we must restore the constitutions that will federate? And our argument in the position we have taken, which may look like extremist, is that if we cannot restore those constitutions that were toppled in 1966, you know, to, to, to still retain a union, then uh, those who are choking here will be at liberty to exercise their right to self-determination because, incidentally, the 1999, the constitution that holds Nigeria together today, uh, which was made by decree 1999 of uh, Absalom Abaka, 
we've gone to court since 2007 to show that it's a fraud because he claimed in the preamble that we the people that's the signature behind the uh, document yeah. what i'm saying is that the, the records are all too clear just that our people are too lazy to go to dig them out but we've taken the trouble over the last uh, two three decades to get to the root of each that nigeria that is kept together strictly by brute force must end we either go to restore the autonomies that were taken away or those who are choking will take their portion and leave the union unfortunately for nigeria the only instrument legal the sole legal instrument by which the union is held together today being the 1999 constitution is a fraud that cannot stand these are some of the prices we have to pay for the mediocrity that has taken the altar of nigeria's uh, citadels of learning because whoever taught him that kind of jurisprudence yes he can quote uh, Carlson, but it's now a practical situation we went to court to afford them because the 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 absalami that did uh, you know the the decree unfortunately for them because they were in a hurry to get away with their loot absalami narrated the story of how he came about the the, the constitution in in it's still there printed that he formed a committee called constitutional debate uh, coordinating committee that went to the field and reported back to the prc mm. and that they removed and added and then they, you know signed it into law to be called the the, the constitution to take effect at a certain date and uh, you know so if you what we went to court to do was to just oppose within provisions of their constitution we asked the court to put this story of the author together with the claim in the preamble that we the people have solemnly resolved to live like this and if one is true the other is false so we no, the kerosene does not arise here it's just a plain matter of forgery that x did something and claims is y unfortunately since it is my land and my right and my asset that is detained and hijacked on account of that forgery it can only it can only collapse like the check that was not signed by the owner of the account who collapsed in a bank. This is the title document. This is the check by which Nigeria is cashing the value of 3 million barrels of crude oil every day. And the owners of the assets, whether it's the oil and gas of the eastern side or the port of Lagos or whatever it is that uh, have been taken away from one side or the other, being shared in Abuja by, by the bunch of uh, politicians who, who insist that our lives now belong to them. And we're saying, Either they come forward for us to rework the entire thing together. Good thing, Mr. President has opened a window which they shut all this while. Yeah, because either they come forward, we do it under a roof, or it will happen under the on, on the streets. Sovereignty belongs to the people. It never leaves the even when the colonialists and, were here, it was only suppressed. And some people say that sovereignty they, lies they with the national bring them, and bring them, government bring them of this to country. your TV, bring them to your TV. So whether they are senior advocates or judges or, or or professors of law, bring them to your studio so that we can disgrace them publicly. Let me, let me tell you how it works. And that theory has been taken around the globe, and nobody has been able to fault it to date. You know how a company is with its memorandum and articles of association between the owners of the company and the management they hire to run the company. The, the only group who can make the memo and articles are the owners of the company. They draw it up and hand it down to a management they hire. The, the, the American constitution is still standing because the 13 colonies that, uh, that took on the British in a fight agreed to, to, to work as a union. And then they increased to the number they have now by accretion people joining them as they went along nobody came to create the state of uh, texas away from or divide tennessee into it was those who saw how their union was working joining at various times so what we're saying is that the the matter of this uh, uh, between the people and the national assembly who has the right to make a continue just like opening a debate between the owners of a company the shareholders and the management of that company that had found a way to go to temper with the member and articles of the company and now made it their own enterprise. That was what happened to us in 1966, being a, a first amongst equals, his president for the today. But that his presidency and the National Assembly noise does not take away one inch of our sovereignty. Our sovereignty, the Yoruba, will be a country of 55 million people if Nigeria were to collapse today. And if Soviet Union that was bigger than us could collapse, there's no reason why that Nigeria will not collapse because what we're saying, we're talking about, we're insisting on a reconstruction. For the same reasons, it, what South Africa did in 1990, when the sitting government led by Frederick de Klerk 
acknowledged that the apartheid constitution of South Africa was no longer able to carry the society and therefore that a discussion will have to be held to generate a new constitution that will accommodate all. The only difference between our situation and that of, uh, that of South Africa was that their own ordeal started in 1910, our own started in 1914. But the general principle of white is better than black is what we all entered into. There was external colonialism in South Africa up till 1910 when the, the, the ones who were doing it from outside had to dress away for those who were on ground to do what uh, happened from 1910 to 1990, whereby a minority a stranger element minority was able to seize the land. No, there, there, are, there, 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 are, there are two two possibilities. If we go back to the level of regional autonomy upon which Nigeria was founded, in which the Western region was like a country cooperating with other countries, Eastern region and Northern region, they each had their constitutions such that Awolowo could do what he did, so that Emma Bara could do what he did. So that's and exactly what you're So we are saying that that is one option if we agree today. To but we must, we must accept that Nigeria was not our making. We must accept that the instrument that holds it together now is a fraud that cannot be sustained. We must accept that we cannot operate outside the, 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 the dictates of the United Nations on the subject of self-determination. Having accepted those three, we will then, for the sake of peace, so that anarchy doesn't overtake all of us, give a time frame within which we will have to go to agree on how to restore the autonomy to, the, to those who lost it to Nigeria that was decided over their head. The alternative to that will be for those who are choking to work out their way to work their way out of the union. How been do they do that? Since we have, you know we went to Because Kronak of course you, you said yes. so that the we ethnic went, nationalities will on their own go yes. their ways. How by the do time, they do by that? The time, by, the time we, by the time we convene Pronaco, you, you, you have to Let's remember. not forget that the ethnic nationalities you're talking about, yes. these are Nigerians. Mm. They are not people from no, another they, they, part they of the country. Were, they were, they were Yorubas first they are, they are before they became represented in the, they were, the present they were Yorubas day government. before they became Nigeria. Nigeria was an imposition on them. Are we arguing about that? No. Nigeria has not worked well for some of them, most of them. Are we agreeing about that? No. From my own part of the country, on this same question of how do we live together, 3.5 million people got killed by those who insist that, uh, that, 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 that they are born to rule forever. And we're talking about taking away all of what could have, could have, could have kept us going as societies and then bunching 68 items into the constitution that we cannot touch. I can't generate electricity so, for myself. Some people would say it is because of so positions let me land, like... Let me, let me land. Okay. We're saying that it is possible for us to restore the federalism we had, which was the basis of the Nigerian Union. If we can do that today, the alternative would be for everybody to go his way. And at the time we were calling to NACO, we got 164 ethnic nationalities that, that, that sat for one year and a half, and we had a finished product from it that could have restored us to federalism on the, on the basis that would be satisfactory to all. But since 2006 to now, those who think that we must be their slave forever have been talking down on it, abusing us that who are we to suggest something to the contrary, since uh, we, we, we ought to just obey forever. And as a fallback from that time, this map did not develop overnight. If you listen to the American War College report on Nigeria, June 2013, they were reporting to their home government that it appears that four federation, four unions, are, uh, four, four countries are emerging from Nigeria that have been rejected by a majority. Go and check that report again. So we are saying that we, we, we have a new situation here, quite apart from the, the stupidity and stubbornness of those who, who, who could not imagine who will resist this any day in the future. The, we, we have a new situation in which 12 states of the far north passed Sharia law in year 2000 almost simultaneously. As I speak with you, I do not see any distinction I can make between the action of those 12 state governments and the Boko Haram that came in later to insist on Sharia or nothing. For the entire territory. So we are saying that. that that's your opinion. We, anyway. No, 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 no. They, they, but, but, Shari, because I mean, those government will tell you that. No, they pass. Sh they pass Sharia law for whatever reason. I can't function from Sokoto. I can't function from Kano. I can't function from Meduguri. But Sanusi can can govern Central Bank sitting in Lagos. His younger brother can govern NNPC sitting in Portacourt. So what kind of arrangement is that? I'm not going to accept that. And we're saying whatever it will take to recover our part of the failed Nigerian experiment because we're an experiment of foreigners. People, some, some people would say so it, this it is, is the because alternative. of positions like this. This is the alternative. This is the alternative to restoring 
our autonomy fully to our satisfaction don't don't you think it is because of positions like yours that some people have misgivings about this whole let them put let them conference. let them put an alternative let them put an alternative on the table let us go and and look at it if they think i'm going to continue to abide by the 1999 constitution this apartheid constitution as basis of nigeria who created the 36 states that have made me minority in a place where i'm clearly majority where do the rest of the people live go from from calabar all the way to the to to to, to gambia and after the indigenous population in every center you will see the second population being uh, uh, these same Igbo people who are all over the place how come we are now in such a minority who created the 36 states who created the seven and four local government areas who created all the these the, the, yeah, so and look at the officers who did them from gawan of 1967 you you you, you came to Murtala Mohammed, you came to Bangida, you came to Abacha. Where were the officers from the rest of the country? If not this, uh, that if not that uh, somebody is trying to maintain something somewhere. Okay. So today we are not only outnumbered politically in the place of decision in Abuja, the monies that come from almost come ninety five percent from this area is being shared on the basis of those uh, manipulations. And somebody is telling me to be kept. Anything whatever made Mandela and Walter Sizulu and Oliver Tambo and uh, uh, Governor Becky to insist that the apartheid constitution must be brought down. That is what is driving us today to bring down this constitution and woe unto that person that will think that this will be the basis of even one more election in Nigeria because we have already mobilized their ethnic nationalities in case they do not know. They sit in Abuja. They are not connected to their people. Their people are not going to accept one more election and under this apartheid constitution. Good. Let me tell you the basic, the minimum. The basis of representation, ethnic nationality. In the formations, they will federate. We are, we are not going to build the house of Nigeria afresh from the roof like it's been done since 1914. What I mean by that is that it's not every little Isoko, Ishekiri, Ogoni that will carry their little bag and go and be lost in a crowd of almost 300 ethnic uh, people in Abuja if it were to be done that way. We are, we are saying that yes, it must be the ethnics, but there must be two layers. The logic of a federation is a union of constitutions. And we lost our way because, yes, it, at least two layers. We what lost our way because we abandoned the five constitutions that defined the union in 1966. So now if we are fixing it, the first task is to restore the constitutions that will later federate. And work has gone on even before government called its own, uh, uh, you saw when the Yoruba raised their flag and their anthem and their constitution the other time. Right. You saw the lower Niger uh, working together to bring out uh, the constitution that will federate the uh, seven languages uh, you find in the eastern side, the Robo, the Jo, the Shekiri, the Igbo. They've been, we've been working on it even before the conference was called. And we're going to finish it and take it to a referendum. Unfortunately, the middle belt, of time. 